This is St. Aloysius Church, West Allis, Wisconsin. In around 1920, my great-great-grandparents on my mother's adoptive side were some of the founding members of this parish. This church was a major part of my childhood and my family's lives. My parents and grandparents were married here, I was baptized here, and we have sadly laid many people in our family to rest in this church. This church and this property were purchased a few years ago and sadly will not be used again as a church. When I was granted permission to document and explore this site, I jumped at the opportunity. <laughs> Kick the big piece of metal. Okay. These stained glass windows helped me daydream for hours as a kid. In the early days of the parish, the parish and the school began operating out of two World War I barracks. We did not do a lot of talking during this video because this site still held a religious reverence for me and I was in awe being able to visit all the places I could not as a child. Like the second story balconies and the back area where the priests got the wine ready and hung out. These were the places I dreamt of exploring as a youth. I can honestly say I don't think I was up in this balcony more than two or three times in my entire life, and that includes this time. I think if memory serves me correctly, this is where the choir would sit. So I have never been up here, and I have never seen this church from this vantage point. It's interesting how all these different spots change your view of a place you've known forever.
Oh, that's what I want. Oh, they're fucking storages now. What? There was something a little extra sad about all these books waiting here for children who would never return. What are you doing there? Do you see the old confessionals? The confessionals on the corners? The two, two. You're good. You're good. You do what you do. I'm just. I'm just walking around in awe, taking this GoPro and my camera, and you do your camera. Mm -hmm. Your pictures are going to be way better than mine anyways. Okay. I'll fart with mine in some of the other spots, but I think you're getting the better iconography right now. Huh? The iconography, like all the cool shots. Yeah. I want to see if there's a basement here. It's got to be. It's got to be. Uh -uh. warming up in here for my nose to be drippy. Oh, this is mm -hmm. where they would get like the wine. Mm -hmm. This is where they get like the wine and stuff, I think. Okay. You got these, right? You're going back up top? Are you going back up top? Did you get the Jesus fish? I did not get that. 
Look at that. If I do it like this. There we go. There was something very cool and exclusive to being in this church alone, but there was also something that was very unsettling about it as well. doesn't go under the whole thing. I said maybe it doesn't go under the whole thing. It must not. Probably just for furnaces and Probably. Yeah. Um. Jenny air compressor. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Just so much history. Right. I'm in the stairwell. I kept going up in the stairwell. I didn't want to yell. Oh, here you go. There is. <clears throat> it's just so cool.
St. Aloysius Parish served this community for 101 years. It had seen many comings and goings in its long lifespan. I'm glad I got the opportunity to document this site one last time before it is taken from the community forever. Subscribe, youtube.com forward slash at Decades of Decay USA.